Hi y'all, so today is Friday, July 29th, and I just wanted to pop on in and tell you that I have not been feeling that well lately. I realized that for so long I've shared so much of my life with you guys, and of course there are some things that I've chosen to keep private, because privacy is important. And those things include situations with my brother, how my mom's cancer is going, when I've been lied to and cheated on by partners, especially ones that I've shown you on my channel, and other things like career crises and emotional challenges and all of the difficulties that these situations that I don't always share with y'all bring to me do sometimes leave me feeling drained, but I know who to go to and I usually can handle these things really well on my own. But I also realized just how important it is for me to admit that I'm not doing well. To say, hey, things really haven't been that great. To admit that I'm not at my best so that I can find, you know, a way to get there <laughs> again. So I went to my primary care doctor a few weeks ago to see if he could refer me to a mental health clinician. I've been in and out of therapy since I was 14, a lot of it for gender identity issues, but I did also see some counselors while I was in college, just because of emotional issues and ultimately stress. But since graduating in 2013, I really haven't talked to anyone professionally about my feelings, and so much has happened in these three years that I'm now realizing I could have used that other support as well. There have been moments in my life where I've realized that relying on talking just to my mom or to my partner, or just to my friends, sometimes when my problems land upon their ears, I don't get the unbiased or the harshest <laughs> criticisms or feedback that I actually need to move forward. So I think I finally reached a point in these three years where I realized and knew within myself about a year ago that I needed to be speaking with somebody professionally. The issue was I actually kept calling up to try and make appointments with therapists and there was not, you know, no availability or they just weren't the right fit or they didn't take my health insurance or they were too far away or they didn't have appointments during the hours that I could make it. So there was a million different factors in the way. So I have been seeking therapy for about a year now, which I'm really proud of myself for finally, 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 finally finding one without giving up considering a year is a long time to be like, where can I find you? Where are you at? <laughs> So this week I had an intake appointment with a social worker and so I sat down with her and she was like, okay, do you want us to start listing your symptoms? And I was like, symptoms? I mean, <laughs> what? Because I'm only ever asked that from like my primary care doctor or if there's something physically wrong with me. And she's like, yeah, you know, your symptoms, like what's been going on that made you believe that you should seek therapy? And I was like, oh, okay. I started with saying, well, lately I've been a lot less patient than I wanted to be. And then I moved on to I felt the lack of control and focus in the work that I felt like I used to be able to so easily accomplish. And so she asked me, when did these symptoms start to occur? I said about, you know, six to 12 months ago, I would guess. And so I started focusing more on events after that. I was like, oh, and I changed jobs, like not just changing jobs, but I changed being a manager to going to not being a manager, changed from 30 hours a week to 20 hours a week, and totally changed the locations that I'm working and the team that I'm working with. Oh, and my cat, Tiger, passed away. He was 18 years old though, but he passed away in the beginning of April. And I moved out from living with my best friends in June to living with my girlfriend, but I was also traveling at the same time, going to the Philly Trans Health Conference, and going to VidCon at the same time as moving, and I feel like I haven't slept in like months. And then last week, my girlfriend and I adopted two kitties, which she thought I said kids, because she was, at this point, she was like, kids? You adopted kids? No wonder you're stressed. And I was like, no, 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 two kitties, but they do have health issues, and they also are really hyper in the early morning, so even if I do get to sleep, my sleep is super fragmented. I haven't been determined or focused enough to join the gym, so it's really been about three months since I've worked out because I spent all of this time trying to gain this weight and then I got food poisoning, which is why I went to my primary care doctor, which is who referred me to you, and the food poisoning caused me to like feel so bad about myself that I didn't want to be working out, and then I didn't know if I was allergic to dairy, so like why even work out if I can't even gain muscle, like what's the point? My car died permanently in the middle of the road last weekend. It just wouldn't start and it's not worth fixing. Yeah, so I had it junked for $75 worth of scrap metal. Yep. 
Earlier this month, my uncle went to prison and he just sent me a letter though. So I'm excited that hopefully I'll get to visit him if I pass the FBI background check. All right, so I'll just stop there, but these were just the things affecting me personally. I was just spewing them out, just recent events that have just been emotionally um, difficult to handle. And that's not even talking about Orlando, where I have this video that I never even put together and released for you all because it was so sad. And as well as the heartbreak that comes along with what happened with Christina Grimmie, and it's just, it just, just... <sighs> It's just hard. There's been a lot and I realized that I just listed, listed, listed. So she just looks at me kind of like, I hope you hear what you're saying. And then she says out loud, I hope that you hear what you're saying. And I heard it. I know. I've had way, way, way too much change, way too much lack of routine in these past six to eight months and that explains why. I feel really derailed. So <laughs> anyway, that is a crap load of change. And guess who doesn't like change? <sighs> yep. So I'm about to make some changes that are more like routines, if that makes sense. Let me let me kind of elaborate on that for you because I've got some good good news. First, I did join the gym. I joined the gym yesterday and I'm going to start consistently working out, including maybe doing some of the group workouts that they have there. I'm going to go to the gym right after recording this video because it does calm me down and help me feel more balanced and centered and having this routine again makes me feel like I'll be able to handle the inevitable changes and stresses that will come in the coming weeks just because of various other life events and I feel really good. Next, I've realized that I want to share more with you all when I'm feeling stressed or not like myself because because in reality, you all know me really well. A lot of you guys know me better than I know myself at times. And any time that I've reached out and said, I need support, or I need your advice, or I have a question, or do you have any suggestions? You all have come through and suggested such helpful things for me. So now I'm making a commitment that when I feel down or if I'm feeling stressed, to still make a commitment to you all to share that with you and to even ask for advice. Actually, the first bit of advice I'll ask about is because I've started using this um, kind of task manager called AnyDo. I have it on my phone and on the computer, and I can list tasks, um, to-do lists, and things like that, and this way I feel productive, and feeling productive is a way for me to feel like I'm kind of sifting through all that change and stress and organizing it and still moving forward, you know, with, with my life. So, do you have any suggestions for apps that help you stay organized, or any suggestions just in life for how you feel productive, how you track? your progress so that you can look at it and really feel good about it because I'm about to start writing a lot, lot, lot more for something that I cannot wait, 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 wait to tell you about, about. <laughs> yeah, I just totally made that as weird as possible, huh? Anywho, I'm about to start working on a project that I'm very, 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 very excited, excited, excited to tell you about when I can and I definitely need to make sure that I'm focused and that I'm tracking my progress and that I'm really making making progress on it. So if you have any suggestions about that, please put them below. I will be reading the comments. I would love, love, love your advice. <laughs> I'm also kind of a pen and paper guy, so I have like all this fancy app technology now, but I'm actually more of a write down the to-do list and cross it off kind of situation. I put all the important things that I want to make sure that I say in my video on the sheet of paper there. And like I said, routines are important for me to help combat the stress and changes in life. So I've decided to start live streaming again because just like asking you all for advice, live streaming when I was doing it in May made me feel very centered, made me feel really happy to get to interact with y'all. So I will be live streaming at 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern time in the US here, and I will be on you now. So you can check me out on there. My name is Skylark11. Follow me and I'll be on a little before 8. I'll stay, I'll stay on for at least an hour so please feel free to pop on in whenever and I would love to do a Q&A, play some music for you all and really get that up and running. In the future I'll post a schedule ahead of time so that you could be like okay well I can't watch Skylar's live stream on Tuesday but I could watch it on Sunday so y'all won't be worried and I won't be worried and everybody is going to feel so safe and happy and warm and great. Yeah. Okay, I'm still really tired. <laughs>
So that's where I'm at now. I'm really excited to start up these routines again. I'm going to get going to the gym right now and I look forward to being on live stream, to getting to talk with you all. I'm totally open and totally willing to share more details about those events that I just listed in that in that big spew there. Those are things that I'm comfortable talking about. I just haven't <laughs> for whatever reason. So that's why I'm going to begin to share more with you all, to begin to trust my gut, to begin to follow the things that I want to be doing that make me feel more like myself and to challenge myself in the ways that I want to grow, not just let life challenge me left and right and do whatever the heck it wants to do there. <laughs> So again, if you have any advice or words of wisdom, please put them below because I'll definitely be reading the comments. And I look forward to chatting with y'all soon. See you at 8 o'clock tonight if you're available. Peace. Much love. Bye. Hey, ducky. What's up, baby? You just sitting there? You were well behaved during my video, weren't you? Now how about Jabber? Let's see. Oh. Hey, were you well behaved during my video, buddy? Were you well behaved? Yes or no? Nope, you weren't. No, you were not. You tried to destroy the camera like four times. Yeah, you. You. I saw you. Oh, you're doing it again. Ah!